Hey guys, this is Smiling Water. This is my first video on my new camera. It's so weird seeing myself on that little screen on top. I'm looking at it right now, but I'm gonna try to look at you guys the whole time. Well, honestly, I see a difference. I think you guys see it too. Well, today I'm here to give you some tips on what to do during summer, because let's be honest, we all get bored during summer. We all wait for the summer for a very long time, but when the time actually comes, we are like, what am I gonna do now? So yeah, these tips may be useful. And before we start, I just wanna say one thing. This is not going to be one of those go hike, go swim, go do that, go do this, be adventurous, go do sports type of video because let's be honest one more time, no one has time for that. Well, that's just wrong. We do have time for it, but we just can't be bothered. At least I can't be bothered. Hope you guys will enjoy these because these are like honest, tips that I do. And I think you're going to get what I'm trying to say from the first tip that I give you and that is number one. It is internet. Well, internet is obviously my life, especially YouTube is my life. And if you are watching this video, I'm pretty sure you're addicted to YouTube as much as I am. Summer is a great time for you to discover new YouTubers. It is just an amazing time because you can just watch every single video that they made. This summer I started watching Viral Brothers and their vlog channel Lady Domisha, Mickey and John aka Pranksters in Love. So summer is actually a great time for you to watch new YouTubers and vloggers. Some of the vloggers that I try to watch at least daily are Joshua DTV, Daily Bumps, Britney and Baby, um, Viral Brothers vlogs, BF vs GF, I watch a lot of vloggers. Another thing on YouTube that you can do is to watch documentaries. If you are into documentaries as much as I am, you're in the right place if you are on YouTube because there are some really weird ones and there are some really, um, let's say, not very weird ones. Another thing you can do on the internet is if you own a Tumblr blog, you can just work on your blog as much as you want to. You can make GIFs because you have time or GIFs, I don't know what you call them, but I call them GIFs. And of course, if you do have a YouTube channel, summer is a great time for you to just focus on your channel, make more videos and maybe just start a new channel. The second advice that I'm going to give you is TV. My tips are so far so lazy and I'm loving them. <laughs> Summer is a great time for you to start watching new TV series, new TV shows. Last summer I spent my entire summer watching every single season of American Horror Story. This summer before was my once upon a time summer. It's just I like watching TV shows during summer. If you need any suggestions, I'm gonna say American Horror Story, The Walking Dead, Once Upon a Time, Fringe, How I Met Your Mother, just fun TV shows that you can watch. Another thing is that you can watch TV shows, but like reality shows. Let's be honest here for the third time, it's just so relaxing to sometimes open E! Entertainment and watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians the whole day. It's just relaxing, I don't hate on the Kardashians or anything like that. Don't judge me. And sometimes I just like to watch Dr. Phil or Jeremy Kyle show because I am creepy and I love creepy stories. So my third tip that I'm going to give you guys is let's be ready socializing. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I'm not a very social person. I don't have social anxiety or anything like that, but I just don't feel very comfortable around so many people. I have a few good friends and sometimes during summer when you're free, it is just so nice to spend time with those few friends. It's nice to go to movies, have sleepovers, have lunch once in a while and spend your time with them. A tip that I would like to give you about socializing during summer is just don't say no all the time. This was a mistake that I had been doing for a while. When people called me and said, oh, we're going there, do you want to come? I was like, no, I have this, no, I have that. My tooth is aching, I am nauseous or weird excuses like that. And in time, I learned that these excuses are not helping me at all. Of course, you don't have to do this every day. It's okay to say no sometimes. And I do say no still. Um, I sometimes find excuses, I have to admit that. but. Uh, yeah, you can just say no and I want to stay at my house and be lazy all day. Just do that. Do the first two tips. When I say socializing, it doesn't have to be in real life in the internet terms. It can be socializing with your friends on the internet. For example, I have some very good friends on Tumblr that I talk to day to day 
and sometimes when it's winter and we both have school it's not easy to keep up with the messages that we send each other on Facebook or Tumblr but summer is a great time to do that just send them a message tell them how they're doing start a conversation talk about weird stuff or fun stuff that is quite fun as well as doing those things you can also spend time with your family I love going shopping with my mom having lunch spending time with her or I love spending time with my cousins it's just so much fun just go spend time with your family in your free time my fourth tip for you guys is a very important tip that is probably my favorite one it's spending time by yourself even though socializing is a good option sometimes spending time by yourself is always a good option <laughs> you can also just go for a walk around your area not a very long hiking thing because I mean I'm too lazy for that but just go for a walk go get ice cream maybe french fries they sound good to me right now I'm hungry another tip that I'm going to give you is of course wait for it Make yourself a nice herbal tea or a nice tea if it's too cold. Get to a comfortable place and read books. If you go on vacations, reading on the beach is really fun, but if you don't go on vacations, just sitting in your house with your favorite drink next to you and being comfortable is as great as vacation. I'm actually going to be making a video called Books to Read During Summer, which could give you some book ideas, hopefully, and I think it will be up later this week. Spending time by yourself also means video games, of course. Summer is a great time for you to play video games for hours and that's just amazing. If your parents heard me that I said that, I'm sorry. Parents, video games are fun. You should just give it a go. This might not sound like a very adventurous summer tip, but let's just be real. Find a new video game, start a new one, and if you don't have a new video game, just play the games that you used to before and start them all over again. It's so much fun. My summer ritual is to play Heavy Rain every single summer and get a new ending, but I always feel bad for Ethan or that kid, not Jason, what's the other guy's name? Jason! Jason! No, not that. I always feel bad for them and I always get the really good ending, but still. Another thing you can do is to organize your room. You don't have to go out and spend money on very expensive things to change your room. You can just start by changing small things. For example, change the location of your furniture, change the spot of your bed or add frames to your room. You don't need money to organize. And last but not least, another thing you can do by yourself during summer is to develop new skills or hobbies. You can start playing a new instrument, you can find tutorials on YouTube, you can cook. Cooking is a lot of fun for me. You can go out with your camera and take photos or short films and edit them. Or you can paint and stuff like that. Developing new hobbies is so much fun during summer. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. These were, as I said before, <laughs> 188 times these were like real tips uh, I'm not telling you to go out and do a lot of stuff I know but this is what I do I'm an introvert I'm not an extrovert so I don't go to summer parties or stuff like that the most social thing that I do is to go to concerts and I hope to see you guys very soon I hope you will all have a great summer and I hope you are already having a great summer and yeah, stay tuned for more videos, subscribe to my channel, like this video if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Bye!